Hey everybody, it's Corey from Thought Soldiers. So, I wanted to talk today about the healing journey and um, what it entails if you're new to it, if you're just newly waking up and you're recognizing that you've got some aspects of you that you want to change, um, what it's like to go through it, and uh, the, the, the pros, the cons, and everything in between of the healing journey. So for me, the healing journey started, um, it started a long time ago, actually. Just wasn't consciously aware of it. It was just more the idea that there was some quote unquote broken parts and that, uh, you know, they needed to be healed and mended and and fixed uh, with zero recognition as to why I was doing it. Just more, I was unhappy with the way things were going. Um, I knew that there was a better life out there for me than what I was existing in. And, you know, just the the need to want to feel whole completely on my own um, instead of having to depend upon a medication, depend upon another individual, depend upon any external factor in order to feel fulfilled in my internal condition. And the healing journey has been very, very, very difficult. It's a long process. It is not easy, especially those of us that come from um, which most of us humans do. We come from a pretty, a, a pretty troubled life. There's a lot of negativity out there and a lot of nasty influence. And if you are looking to healing the aspects, what you've gone through is completely valid and completely correct for what has happened in your experience. And you have every right to want to look at it, to want to experience why, to experience what you can do to to correct it and and to then you know take steps forward by leaps and bounds um, into a new way of living and into a a new reality that you want to live in and for me it's been very once I stepped onto the healing journey and for me it's a lot of it has to do because I stepped into the healing modality so it started out with just wanting to feel better and, and wanting to live a new way of life. And then it started to grow and evolve and expand to a point of wanting to help others and wanting to be a beacon of hope that they can rise above the limitations that were set upon them when they came into this existence. And, you know, it's been very very troublesome lately because I'm at that point where um, I am like any other human. I want to be perfect overnight. I want to be completely healed overnight. Um, And I also want to be able to take a break and go, you know, I'm happy with where I'm at and I just want to integrate. But the call right now within energies as they're arising and as far as with where I'm at in my healing journey, there's a lot of things that need to be looked at because all these things I want that I'm actively pursuing and manifesting into my life require a level of healing, which means that a cycle needs to be learned. Um, I need to integrate the learning lesson and then I need to apply this into my life and, and keep moving forward because there's going to be someone, especially me being on the healer's journey, that is going to have the same question and I could say, here's what I did to, to get out of it. And, you know, the, the, the tough part about the healing journey is in reality, in society, we can't just go take a break. Well, some of us can't. I know I can't in my life. I can't just go take a, a six month or a one year hiatus and just focus on myself. I can't afford it. It isn't feasible. I still have to suit up and show up. I still have to be a son. I still have to be um, a lover. I still have to be a friend. I still have to be an employee. I still have to be a healer. I still have to be a coach. And so there's a time and a place to learn that. And as we learn this in the journey, to be able to set aside what's going on in order to refocus, to to integrate and to suit up and to show up and to be able to flip that switch off. And for me, it's very hard. Um, There's a, there's a, and that's where acceptance comes into play, mindfulness and meditation. But um, this, this healing journey is definitely not easy. So if you landed on this audio, well, guess what? You're on the healing journey. You are in complete resonance with wanting to heal aspects of yourself for one reason or another. Now, why you want to, that's up to you. It, it, it'll, you'll either intuitively know it right now or the universe will provide that answer for you as you evolve and expand and, and start to fill yourself up. 
But basically, what the healing is is if we if we look at this, we are a we're a, um, we've got some cracks in our pottery, and we're trying to fill those gaps with healthy coping mechanisms, healthy ideas, healthy energies that are going to create a lasting and profound effect on who we are as a being to really paint that portrait beautifully. And, you know, there's a, um, there's, there was a, a, a meme I saw the other day on, on Facebook that was showing, I think it was J- Japanese pottery that they will, they will, if there's a, a crack in the pottery, they will fill it with gold in order to create this masterpiece and to show that there is value in your wounds. And I loved being able to see that and kind of, per- and, and, and see that for what it is. Cause I really am one of those that I see so much beauty in scars. But this is where it's important to, to take a step back when we are feeling wonky um, and we start, to, um, we start to rely again on external things, people, love, money, stuff like that in order to fill those gaps. And this is where it's important to fill up with as much universal love, as much self-love, and as much beauty and grace and honor as we can because what that helps to bring about is a level of wholeness you know i'm going through this right now where um i've got some i'm I'm healing some broken parts and i've got a lot of beauty that's arrived in my life but i'm still relying on either external validation or I'm relying on something outside of me to feel complete. And what happens is I'm at this part on my journey where uh, I feel complete for maybe a few days and then I go, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Well, it's because there's something internally I'm not giving myself. And this is where journaling, reflection, and meditation really comes into play. Um, When I am healing and I'm looking at aspects, I have to first make sure that I'm not overindulging because there is a point where you can tear that wound open so big and you can end up making the tear greater than it is, things like that. So there's a time and a place once again to, to turn it on and to turn it off. But there's also a time to provide for yourself exactly what you need in order to strengthen your field in order to, and when I'm talking to field, I'm talking about your energy field, um, to strengthen your soul purpose and to strengthen that route to the point of being completely whole as a person as you are so when you greater create those connections with the world and you start to become unified with the collective conscience and you start to become unified with other individuals that those connections aren't set up as anchors to draw from you or to fill a gap But they're there to serve a purpose to walk alongside one another completely whole in your being. Because that's what we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to this point of unification where we recognize that we've got sore spots and we recognize we've got these wounds. But these people don't have to fill those wounds. They can be there and hold space for you comfortably as you heal these aspects. And and we're going to feel so much better off as a result of it. Because as I've learned on my journey, we fall in and out of resonance with each other quite often, especially when we're rapidly ascending, we're going to have people that, that signed up to be a part of this ascension process for us. And, and when I say sign up, it's because I'm speaking on a, uh, on a soul contract level, which is something that um, it depends on whether you believe it or not. But I truly believe that, that when we are going through, especially what we're going through right now with the, the rapid onset of energies and, and ascending and, and, and getting to this higher plane of existence, that everyone that comes into our lives is there for a greater purpose, to help us with something. And, you know, what's interesting is sometimes, yeah, I know for me, I get resentful at these people, but then I know at a soul level too that they're just, they're, they're soul family that were like, don't be mad at us. We signed, you, you wanted us here to help you with this. And so, um, so anyway, I'm getting a little off track, but, but what, what, when we start to, when we start to integrate and ascend, it's about becoming whole as an individual in order to, to help others. And, and to recognize that there is a time to, to set aside your healing for a little bit because you may be just one or two steps ahead of another individual that really, really needs you at that point in time. And um, you can start to feel when you're not suiting up and showing up at a soul level if your call is to help heal other individuals or to share your story or to spread your light. And so this is where 
we have to find the time to set it aside, the healing, to set aside our problems and to be there for another individual because that's that even, that's that even give and take of, um, of the world that we're trying to get into, this level of reciprocity where we can give unconditionally to another individual and then we can open ourselves up to receive as well. Um, and if things get out of balance, if we're receiving too much or we're giving too much, we can end up feeling it at a soul level. Um, so, you know, I may be getting a little bit, a little bit deep into more of what happens when you start to evolve with healing. And so I want to, I want to take a step back and, and help out the people that are new to this, that are wondering, what is this all about? Why am I feeling this way? Well, why you're feeling that way? If it's ucky, if it's nasty, it's because it's something that needs to be looked at. And the whole idea of this is just illumination. And illumination is shedding light on an aspect of ourselves that we may be uncomfortable with or we don't want to look at because as soon as we shed light on it, we have the opportunity to look at the, to, to find a solution in order of what to do with it. And for me, this is where um, online resources helped. This is where connecting to other healers helped. This is where connecting to people that are on their ascension journey really, really helped because a lot of us have gone through so many different aspects that we could, we could find different perspectives on what's going on with us in order to, to heal that and in order to, to start to get some, gain some perspective on why or what we do. And, and, and a lot of this too can be, can be um, helped out with meditation. For me, I really had to rely on other resources and other people until I learned to trust my intuition and gain stronger clarity from my guidance. And then I could go into meditation and the answers were, would come to me um, with what I needed to do. And so always connect and, and always ask. Don't hesitate to ask because these people, you know, I know for me, I, would, I wouldn't ask people because I didn't want to burden them with my troubles, you know. But there are people out there, you know, especially like me that, that want to listen, that, that want to that want to help out and want to help pick you up or at least guide you into finding the strength in order to pick yourself up. Um, and, and, and we're out there. We're out there. You just got to keep seeking them and keep finding them. But if you're new on this, this healing journey and you're getting overwhelmed, I ask that you just be kind with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. This is not an easy process. I know for me, I'm, I'm going through about 27 years of garbage. <laughs> 27 years of garbage that is not going to be gone in just a couple of years. Not for me. It's at a very accelerated pace right now where I'm going deeper and deeper and deeper and I'm healing deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. But it's going to take a while to unravel all of that. But just know that where you're at on your journey is exactly where you need to be. And it's, it's, it's not easy at times. It's very hard to, to illuminate those aspects and to, and to, and to see that, that we've been doing things in patterns that are um, they're not conducive to where we want to be in life. And if you're getting you know, rapid healing right now like I've been, it's probably also too because you've asked the universe for something. And the universe wants to bring it, but there's some stuff you got to go through in order to get there. A lot of us are being aligned with our path and we're, we're syncing up to exactly what our destiny is because we're following our legend. We're following our heart. We've learned to shut off the mind that, to the best of our ability. I, I, I laugh about that because I, I, I don't know how to shut off my mind sometimes. But what we're doing is we're aligning with our perfect, perfect path. We're aligning with that timeline that is filled with all the gold and all the love and all the treasure we want. And because we're being aligned with that, we're being asked and called to heal. We're being asked and called to illuminate certain aspects and to change behaviors and to change patterns and to understand more of why we do things because there's going to be a call to help other individuals with this that are, their veils have lifted and they see now that everything they thought was going on is a complete lie and that things are, there's more to this world and, and to understand that and to see it and to not feel the heaviness of the ignorance we've been living in, which, you know, I'm not to, not to say we've been ignorant, but it comes back to the phrase, ignorance is bliss. When we are unaware and we're just la di da di da di rose-colored glasses, everything is beautiful, um, but we're unaware that there are patterns that are repeating in our lives that are hurting, it, it, can, be, it can be very heavy, and, heavy and, and very burdensome to feel like, and especially when we start to recognize how much of it comes from our family, it comes from our teachers, and that's where we start to look at the resentments. And this is where we have to learn to love unconditionally 
what has happened to us in our story because if it brought you to this point in time where you are listening to this and you are curious about healing, just know that everything bad that happened in your life happened for your greater good. And I know it's so hard to understand and even saying this right now, I'm feeling icky. Like I'm like, why am I saying this? Why am I talking this way? Because at a soul level, I know it's true. But my human mind doesn't want to believe that bad things or unfavorable events or teaching lessons that are very uncomfortable have to happen in order for us to grow and to expand and to rocket us into the next level of our existence that we've been calling for or have been called to do. And that is a call to action, at least for me, a call to suit up and to show up, a call to let my heart resonate and to expand out as far and as wide as possible to be able to show people that there is unconditional love out there and we can find it not only in other people but we can find it in the magic of the universe we can find it in nature and more importantly we find that light within ourselves and we let it shine and we let it help other people and that's what my call has been and uh, it's it's not easy it's not easy but is it worth it definitely I've seen my life grow and change in so many ways and the things that I have today I never thought I would have such as quality relationships real friendships, a better connection with my family, a better connection with myself. I have a loving higher power of my understanding that I do business with, that I don't have a label on. Some days I call it the universe, some days I call it God, some days I cuss it out. But it's understanding and it's unconditional and it understands that I'm having a human experience and that my human aspects still come into play because I'm still a human. You know, I'm, I am a spiritual being having a human experience and I love to live as spiritually as I possible, but I'm also human and I have human problems that sometimes seem extremely out of my control. Um, and so that's where I'm asked to call to go within and to find acceptance. And, you know, acceptance has been a huge, huge vital piece of all this is just growing to learn that I'm at where I'm at for a greater reason and my human temporal nearsighted eyes can only see so far into the future and for me i have an intuitive knowing of what the future holds for me whether this future is 10 years out 10 days out or 10 hours out i'm completely unaware of that but what i've learned to do and i and i know this by my feeling is how to pull everything back and to be completely present in what's going on right now and completely accepting and doing what i can to be able to play with my reality to the best of my ability because things get heavy, it gets heavy, the, the emotions come up and, and, and it feels dark and it feels lonely or whatever, whatever you know, unfavorable emotion we want to tie to it. And this is where I have had to learn that there are to- there's a time to just look at my feet and to breathe, to listen to my heartbeat and to be grateful for the fact that I'm sucking air right now, for the fact that I have the ability to to get up and to to walk, um, the ability to grow and to learn. I have the ability to wake up in in a uh, in a place that I'm paying rent for, even though I haven't paid rent in a month and finances have been tight and I'm racking in debt. I've been paying for. Um, I have food in my fridge. I have the opportunity to be able to turn on my phone and hit record, to be able to share this message with people. I have the ability to be vulnerable and I have the ability to show people that. It's okay to be human and it's okay to have good days and it's okay to have bad days and it's okay to feel. Like, it's okay to feel. These emotions come to the surface because it's a great compass for what we need to do in our life. Without emotions, we would be completely lost. We wouldn't know. Emotions have been the most important part of this experience and it has been my biggest strength and it has also been my biggest weakness. But today I, tr- I, t- I choose to, to transmute that weakness and turn it into a strength in order to evolve and in order to listen to it closely because it's telling me something. My emotions are telling me something. It's a GPS system just like my intuition is. The intuition and the emotions kind of go hand in hand a little bit depending on what's being involved there, whether it's the ego that's talking. So there's so many aspects, I'm not gonna get into that right now because it'll, it'll, I will start to, start to go off onto tangents. But to be able to listen to that emotion and to honor it and to recognize that it's coming to the surface because it's giving us direction. It's either pushing us further away from our dreams or it's pushing us closer to our dreams, depending on what the feeling is and what we are doing with the feeling. So. You know, I consciously choose today to resolve these issues and to accept 
and to do what I can actively on my end in order to get greater clarity on what this emotion is, where it comes from, and what I need to do about it. And if there is no action I need to take, then that is the best action to take. And that is where acceptance comes into play and tying everything into the breath, slowing everything down, and starting to have fun with the world that we have. Because with healing, there's no shortcut. We cannot shortcut healing. We cannot bypass. What we can do is we can take active steps towards correcting the situation we're in, or we can start to, um, to do what we can in order to heal those aspects. But there is no shortcut and there is no perfect remedy. You know, if some days you have to go do, you know, engage in some, in some behavior that you don't like because it's going to make you feel comfortable right then and there, you know, I'm not one to sit here and to say, don't do this, don't do that, because I had to, I had to pave my own way on the journey, which means I had to do some things that wasn't really conducive to the lifestyle I'm seeking, but it helped me to get by. And, and as long as I wasn't hurting another individual in the process, that's what mattered. That's what matters the most is making sure that, you know, if we have to be a little crazy sometimes, or we have to, you know, act out, make sure we're doing it where we're not hurting other people, or we have someone who can hold space and let us just be ourselves and not try to water it down or or magnify it or maximize it, but to just let it be and to let it come to the surface. You know, for for the past few days for me, I've been feeling this overwhelming sadness, this overwhelming emotion, this overwhelming wanting to cry and wanting to just break out, um, wanting to escape. And I haven't been able to let those, that stuff come to the surface because frankly, it's not ready. And that catalyst is coming, that trigger moment will happen where someone says something and I just completely break down or, you know, a song comes on unexpectedly that invokes an emotion and I get to purge that and let it out. And I have to be okay with just walking around with that right now. And that's a big part of this healing journey is just being okay that we're going to have to go about our day and we're going to have to suit up and show up and we're going to feel like we don't want to be there. We're going to feel, you know, emotional. We're going to feel sad and it's okay. It's okay. You're evolving. You're expanding. The huge part of this is you're feeling it and you're looking at it today. And so if you're going through this right now, be kind and gentle with yourself and and, and be open to to letting people in and to letting them hold space for you and give you learning lessons and to give you love. Let people love you because you are completely lovable. You are a beacon of hope, a powerful beacon of light that is illuminating so bright that you are attracting nothing but the best into your world. And what's going on with you right now, even though it may feel uncomfortable, it is for your greatest good. And it's going to help other people too because when you are going through what you're going through and there's someone else that you never know who's witnessing what you're going through right now and they see you break through it and pop out of it and they go, wow, I know I can do that too. And it gives them hope. This lightworker journey, this ascension journey, whatever you want to label it, it's, um, it's very important. What we're doing right now is very important. And we have to remember that. We have to remember that everything you are going through right now is for a, a spot that you're, you have no idea how important it is for another individual. And I'm getting emotional right now, but it's because I'm letting myself feel that. You never know how important what you're doing for yourself is for another individual and for the collective as a whole. And it's hard. But I wanted to, to sit here and let you know I'm proud of you for doing what you're doing. I'm proud of you for for even looking at the word healing and wanting to investigate it because it's not easy. But it, it, it is such a miracle and it's such a blessing that we get this opportunity to do this and we, and we, get, to, we, get, to, we get to see, we get to clearly see where things have gone wrong and we get to correct it. Not only are we setting ourselves on the right course, but we're setting humanity on the right course as well. Anytime you heal an aspect of yourself, you're healing for the collective as well. And that's been a very strange thing to start to look into is that, wow, when I heal for myself, I'm healing for others. And that's a beautiful thing. So if you're going through it right now and you're feeling things and it's feeling uncomfortable and you're like, oh, I don't like this, it's okay. Accept it. You're not the only one. I don't like it either sometimes. And it feels really icky and it feels nasty, but it's beautiful because we get to feel. We get to grow we get to expand we get to evolve we get to open up our hearts we get to learn 
And that is why this experience exists, is to grow and to learn and to love and to play and to have fun. No longer do we have to suffer. No, we're still gonna feel. The lows are still gonna be low and the highs are still gonna be high. It's just not gonna be as drastic and it's not gonna be as terrible. That's why we're doing what we're doing. So I welcome you to the healing journey if you're new to this, if you've been on the healing journey for a while, I honor you and your strength for continuing to move forward. And if you are having a tough time and don't wanna move forward, just know I'm proud of you. Just know I love you unconditionally and you're doing the right thing. So anyways, that's all I got guys. Much love and respect to everybody out there in the universe who's doing the thing, who's doing the deal. It's never easy. And if you wanna connect, um, my, uh, you're, you either landed on my webpage, so you can, you can email me, look for the email link, or this is on YouTube, and you can look in the description box and find ways to, to contact me. Reach out. Um, I'm here for you, and if you don't want to reach out to me, find someone that you can feel comfortable reaching out to that is going to love you unconditionally, is going to hold space for you, and is going to, going to help you because you're not alone. You don't have to be alone. Um, this human experience is not about being alone. It's about feeling connected and feeling a part of something. And know that if you're on the healing journey, you're a part of my life. And so come all the way in, sit all the way down, and uh, let's enjoy this experience together. All right, guys, much love to you all. I'll see you on the other side. Namaste.